up, y'all? It's Josh, coming at you live with the questions. So, favorite choir memory was Disneyland my junior year. It was with Trevor, Charlie, Tommy, and all them. And it was just a great experience. It's a great bonding experience for you and your friends. And in this Disneyland trip, they scared me so badly, I almost had a heart attack. I fell to the floor and I started to cry. That's how scared I was. So the story was, they told me that Tommy was downstairs getting food. And we straight up, he was gone for like 10 minutes. Like, dude, where's Tommy? It's hella scary. Like, I'm getting worried about him. And T Charlie goes, oh, he'll be back soon, I swear. Like, he's just getting snacks for all of us, so I stay in salon. And then he goes, by the way, all your junk is in, the, is in the closet. They decided to throw all my stuff in the closet. They thought it'd be funny. It's like, oh, okay, I see how it is. And I go to the closet, open it up to get all my stuff, and Tommy jumps out of the closet and scares me to death. Like, I'm, like, just in a shirt and my PJs, just trying to get my stuff out of the closet, and Tommy jumps out when I was worried about him, thinking he was downstairs. And I fell half on the bed, I just, and I was on the floor. Like, I was out. It, it was done though. That was the scariest moment of my life. My favorite choir memory was caroling because I had never done that before, like sung in front of like a restaurant Christmas music. So that was fun. My favorite choir memory is probably the Warriors game because I wasn't even supposed to be there. Um, in varsity choir, it was only for concert choir, but Rockwell called me the day before and said, hey, do you want to come? go to the Warriors and sing. It's like, uh, yeah. Every year when we go on the Caroline gigs and we go sing for Toys for Tots, we get fed breakfast, uh, we meet the people from the military, and of course, we get a tip, so that's always cool. Definitely my favorite choir memory was last year's Summer of Love Pops concert. I really enjoyed the music and just the, you know, the people and the whole atmosphere and the style that we had. My favorite choir memory probably is the endless amount of shirts Mr. Rockwell has. The whole, either Hawaiian shirts or the choir pun shirts. Um, has to be last year's CMEA. It was just so like incredibly powerful kind of because we kind of thought that nothing was really, like we weren't gonna get a unanimous superior and we thought that we kind of blew it with our, um, with our like, rhythm and sight singing but at the end we were like taking our pictures and stuff and then all of a sudden I hear a couple people say that we got a unanimous superior and me and I think it was Rachel we just started like crying and hugging each other and it was just such a like beautiful moment. Um, my favorite choir memory is sophomore year at the Pops concert when I was about to quit choir because I wasn't sure if I really liked it anymore and I didn't really know anyone and then just the feeling that it gave me at the end of the year, um, it just made me realize what choir means to me and I'm super glad that I joined again and continued in these years because it's made a huge impact on my life. When we all won Unanimous Superior and that was really great because we got to give Mr. Rockwell not only one but three of them or four, four, got that out. I love everything about choir, not everything, no, not everything, I take that back. My favorite choir memory, it's gotta be um, when we're at Disneyland, when we go backstage and we work in the sound studios, recording studios, whatever they're called. Well, sophomore year, first concert choir uh, rehearsal, me and Trevor were uh, messing around and became friends. And we found out that the choir chairs, if you get a certain tilt on the ledge, it'll balance and you get this perfect balance going on. And we start leaning back in our chairs. And Mr. Rockwell was giving us a lecture on uh, goofing around, so <laughs> we weren't really paying attention, sorry. Uh, going on. Now, we've been doing this for a while, but all of a sudden, Tommy goes and reaches over at me. And we both fell back, grabbed onto each other, and just hit the floor right as he was talking. And just start laughing our asses off. And I see Mr. Rockwell. We both make eye contact with him. It just gave us that absolute look of disappointment. <laughs> but he doesn't say anything. He just looks so disappointed. But, you know, we were a good team. Good, good first time. My favorite choir memories 
or when after Disneyland we go to Newport Beach and get a few hours to just hang around wherever. My sophomore year in choir, it was the last concert and my sister was graduating and she was in choir with me. Well, she was, she was in choir with me my freshman year, but, um, and I remember singing Here's the Song and everyone just started crying and I looked around and I looked over at my friend Melody and then I stared at her for a good long time and then we just started crying together and we started hugging and it was really, it was a really beautiful moment and it kind of like just showed me that like choir is kind of a family, which is really nice. Choir has been such a big part of my life. Um, it helped me through the hardest time in my life, uh, back my sophomore year when my cousin passed away. The choir room was where I went and I have so many friends that are so supportive of me and um, because of the support that I've had and my love for music, I, it's, it's influenced me to be a music teacher in the future. That's, that's what I'm going to college for, so I'm really excited for that, but choir has just it's been the world to me. It has made me more confident. It has made me want to do things that I probably wouldn't have thought of doing. Doing all the performances helped me boost my confidence, singing and learning. And I mean, I sang in the multicultural rally, did a solo. I mean, I know a lot of people would do that. Choir has helped me open up in a lot of ways. Like, I used to be very introverted and not able to talk to really anyone and do pre presentations or anything, but since I've been on stage, it's been a lot easier to do stuff like that. Choir has been my home for the last four years. I came in as a freshman, and I wasn't sure who I wanted to affiliate with, but I started meeting some of my best friends through choir, and just, they're so accepting, and it's really kind of formed who I am. And I really think that, you know, being a part of choir has helped me to get where I am today. Wow, uh, initially going into freshman year, I actually wasn't in choir and I transferred into it as a, in mixed choir because I didn't know anyone in concert choir. So I just, I left the class, kind of was thinking about it. And then I joined back. And I can say that is one of the best choices I've made in my life so far because I've learned so much. I've done so many things like uh, going out to regionals and Allstate, meeting all these amazing people and musicians that I never really thought would happen in a choir because I just joined it for the music aspect because I love music. And that has been a life-changing moment for me and it done for me. It's just made my life better and made me a happier person. Uh, gave me something to do, a way to express myself in music, writing my own songs, and uh, I'm gonna continue to sing and in being choir for probably the rest of my life. So, thank you. Man, choir's done a lot for me, honestly. It's the one thing that I really wanted to stick to all four years, and I have to say the Renaissance Fair did the most for me because, like, it gave me that sense of like empowerment and just like knowing that the career I want to go into, which is movie directing is I'll be able to do that just because the Renaissance Fair is really hard to run. Choir has been always um, something stable when my high, my high school years were rough because you never know what happens between every year. There's a lot of changes and a lot of new teachers but choir has always been there for me throughout my whole four years so it's something that was always like consecutive. It saw me to open up about anything, about my feelings, about like how to show my emotions better. Mr. Rockwell was always talking about facial expressions. You really got to be happy. Show that you're happy. Don't be happy, but yeah, I'm feeling happy right now, guys. Like, it is not cool. He, like, Mr. Rockwell has really taught us a lot, and he's taught me a lot. And just, his choirs really helped me up through my life, through my high school years. Choir has made me more confident. It was really nice making a lot of new friends, being very open with each other, making memories, just getting to know each other, getting a bigger family, that's what it really meant to me. I just, I feel like without like having choir as a support throughout high school, um, things just would have been much harder, um, like at home and at school, like, it's just really nice to have a place to go where you know like you all like the same thing singing and like you can do it together and like 
bond over it and it's just it's such a nice community that we have it has kind of helped me like overcome being in front of big crowds and singing it's kind of providing me with the second family i guess because we've been through a lot together we go on trips and it's just an endless reel of dumb stupid jokes and crazy shenanigans uh what choir has done for me is um i've never really been an artsy like someone who's been in, uh into the arts really like it's drawing or painting or I really like listening to music, but never like making it. So this is nice trying to um, tr like travel through new waters and like ex tip my uh, dip my toe in the water for um, going into the arts. I, I did dance, and originally in dance, that was kind of my way of expressing myself. But I think in choir, like the fact that you're singing and the people actually hear you, um, like. I feel like I, I can express myself more than I have in the past, and like people will accept me for it. For incoming freshmen, stick with it. Don't give up. Don't like drop it after when you're like, oh, this is boring. Oh, just just stay with it. Choir is fun. You will have fun in choir. Even if you think you won't have fun in choir, you will have fun in choir. Make sure you you have fun. Don't come in choir dreading it, because you come in choir with a bad attitude. It's not gonna be fun. It'll be as fun as you make it. Miss Rago tells us that all the time. Like, oh. Do you want to have fun and sing and sound good, or do you want to just goof around? Don't come and go, oh, he wants to make us do all this stuff, there's so much work, because it's not that hard. I'd say just jump in. Jump in full, like, entirely, as soon as you get here. I mean, enjoy it. Uh, you have four years, it feels like you're going to be here forever, but... As everyone says, it does go by very, very fast. I do everything you can. You're only going to regret the stuff you don't do in life. You realize that. People always regret the stuff they didn't do. They never regret the stuff they did do. My advice for the freshmen is to stick with choir because choir is so fun. It's a completely different experience from anything on this campus, from sports to being in band or drama or being in clubs. It's just just we have a bond. Choir isn't a solo. Don't be afraid to be who you are because that's how you're going to grow and figure out yourself. You're going to figure out who um, or like what you want to be and stuff like that. Like don't be afraid to just go outside the box. Don't care about what anybody's going to think of you because that's the only way that you're going to uncover who you really are. So definitely don't let anybody hold you back. Don't let yourself hold yourself back. A lot of people will tell you this, but cherish every single moment. I don't know. I mean, just do your best. Don't be scared. Sing loud so they, uh, Mr. Rockwell can hear you. If you're singing the wrong pitch, it's okay. You can get it down. Just don't be scared. Be more confident. Go for all the solos. Like, even when you think that you might not get it or you don't think that you're good enough, try. Like, you never know what is going to happen. And, like, I used to be very shy in that and stuff. And, like, I I think <laughs> most of us were. And any advice for incoming freshmen is just stay open, have an open mind, meet new people, have fun experiences, and be yourself. Definitely enjoy the time while you're here. Try out for all the solos and just put yourself out there because it'll just get you a lot more experience and you'll gain confidence and I had a lot of fun doing solos in past years. Don't be afraid to branch out because if you just stay closed in all year, like, it's not gonna help you. Don't try to freak out Mr. Rockwell because he can't be, like, creeped out anymore because of me. Ever since freshman year, I walked in here with like my hand was full of needles, and I walked up to Mr. Rockwell and I went, "Hi, how are you doing?" Nothing creeps him out anymore because of me, so don't try. My advice for freshmen would just be to remember that you'll get out of it whatever you put into it. So the more you dedicate yourself to the program, put in time practicing, you know, come to come to rehearsals wanting to learn, the more you'll get out of it. Okay, my advice to incoming freshmen is to be involved. Start off strong with Rockwell, don't disappoint him, and disappoint him towards the end of the year. You don't take this class just because you think it's an easy A, because you definitely have to put in some work in, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm also um, guilty of that, I was joining in choir and like, oh yeah, 
that will be fine. Just um, kind of just show up, and that's all it is. But it's actually more than that. You got to practice the music if you want to actually, if you actually want a good performance. Learn how to not breathe. A big thing here in choir that I didn't know before I came here was Mr. Rockwell will tell you to not breathe for like a whole minute and expect you to sing. So either learn how to not breathe or learn how to breathe without him noticing. Do your sonic fit. Peace. I'm gonna miss all of you guys so much. Like the closer it gets, the sadder I get because I'm not gonna be around all of you. And I just, I want you all to know that I love every single one of you. Signing off.